Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Miami. This is crazy. So if you're wealthy, you can do what you want. Somebody's gotta do it. We're back again, day two, Black Equity Con. So today, we gotta do everything we did yesterday, plus some. So yesterday we had a blast. Today we gotta get even more people in that money booth so we can get signups for our uh, Melanin Millionaires Club. I have two speaking sessions, Carter has two speaking sessions, Jacqueline has two speaking sessions, and we got a whole lot of fun planned. So I can't wait to take you guys along for the day. It's gonna be a blast. And they're like, sure, we'll get it removed. And I was like, this is crazy. So the this is created in opposition to you. Nav.com, uh, and it's very intuitive. Uh, you, can, you can set up a profile there. It's going to ask for your basic information so that you can really have uh, an established business profile. So all the things she mentioned, that's what's going to allow you to have an established business profile. What happened is, as you start to have traction with these platforms, I'm not saying the terms are amazing, but it could be a potential good place to start. As you start to get traction with these platforms, they're going to show like, oh, okay, well, this person has processed X amount of business through here, so we're confident lending that person X amount of dollars because push come to shove, right? We can take a percentage of the sale. Um, on file, I think it's like $100 a year for a whole year to have a registered agent. My social, but they mainly look at my business. Your debit card isn't going to do anything for you, right? You make those transactions all day long, nothing's going to happen. But if you use a car like, let's say, Amex Platinum, for example, right? I did this trip here. I didn't spend any of my own money. You got to ask yourself, do I want to play to win or do I want to play not to lose? Speaking more particularly about how to leverage debt to build wealth is understanding the difference between uh, consumerism, right, versus building wealth, right? Uh, at Bougie Budgeter, B-O-U-J-I-E. She, she looks like Boogie to me. You can find me at George Action Phone. I know my last name is Long, A-C-H-E-A-M-T-O-N-G, Jr. on Instagram. with these beautiful ladies crushed it yes, yes, yes. so hope y'all got some gems from that You know, that's how you know it's gonna be lit. They trying to shut us down. That's right. Everybody's talking about all the different things you can do. I know you're coming to a conference and you're learning so much. You can learn about Turo, credit. It can feel a little bit overwhelming, right? And so one of the things I want people to always remember is that you don't have to have every bag based upon the baggage that comes with it, mm -hmm. right? So because if it's gonna burn you out, you're gonna be working, you know, all the time and not don't have any time to enjoy yourself. Is it really worth it, right? Because life is meant to be lived. You have to know exactly what you want. You have to be calculated, okay? So you write this list of 50 things that you want in 10 years, and then you figure out who aligns with that. I get the pleasure of talking about how you maximize it. And before y'all talk about how you maximize it, look at that watch. That, 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 that's a watch of a man who multiplies his money right there. Look at that man. Uh, one of my mentors told me a long time ago that riches are measured in money, but wealth is measured in time. What do I mean by that? Because when you're wealthy, you can do what you want, when you want, with who you want, for however long you want to do it, right? First thing you got to understand is, what is my target? Where am I going? We're talking about building wealth, saving, investing. But for what though? So you might say, right now, I'm making 5K a month, 10K a month, right? These are the, this is the amount of money I need 
to live my life to where as long as I have the money coming in from assets, I'm good, right? So how many of y'all know how much cash flow y'all gotta have coming in in order to live your dream lifestyle? Y'all know y'all number? 20,000, it's power and sharing, what's your number? 10,000, 10,000 a day, okay, talk to me, talk spicy now. Because once you define your number, then you can reverse engineer how you get there, right? So here's a quick equation for you. If you guys don't know how to find your number, right? Take the money that you want to make monthly, you multiply that by 12, okay? And then you multiply that by 25, right? And whatever number that is, once you have that as a nest egg, you're what I like to call financially independent. I might start doing the math, so what's that little, uh, the reels on you? Yeah. I start doing the math, like, hold on, big fella. That's a, that's a big number. Well, I'm gonna tell you about a secondary option. Cash flow over accumulation. Or 2,500 a month, right? Then I have a business that I own but do not run, right? You talking about sound, I see some chimes going on. One of my businesses that I own but don't run. But like, I got a business that I own but do not run, meaning I put money up, someone else runs it, and I just get a check, right? So then I got another 5K a month coming from that. Then I only need a few thousand dollars coming from the investment portfolio, which means I only need a third of the money invested, right? So now you've taken, you've taken a journey that was gonna take you 35 years and you chopped it down to 13, if that. The portfolio of $50,000, right? And you say, you know what? I want to go wake up every day and get the information because information changes situations and conversations change conversation. Yeah. Right? That boy got some quotes coming now. We're going to give y'all some quotes now. Somebody uh, say, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Right? And that's a microcosm of life, right? Like, we can give you these strategies, we can give you this game, and something's going to happen. You're going to go back home, and it's going to be something, right? It's always something. Work is long. But you got to keep it rolling. Y'all now, can we get a round of applause, y'all, for this? Guys, just like that, Black Equity Con is a wrap. I mean, today was jam-packed. We had two speaking sessions. We had the vendor uh, activation. We had the money booth, merch sales, two podcasts. It was crazy, y'all. And, and the crazy thing is, we're just getting started, right? So we're gonna take this show on the road. I really appreciate you guys for coming along the journey with us. Until next time.